Are you a vlogger or a blogger? This video is for you. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to Maggie Beast Family TV. In this video, I will be asking you some questions and at the same time, I will be giving you the answers to the questions and also providing solution details on that question that I will be asking. What are the questions? Let me ask you the questions. Do you blog with your phone and you don't have space on your phone and at the same time you have to delay 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 in order to upload video on your social medias and your phone can telling you shut off storage and you actually want to keep these videos that you are deleting how can you store up your videos this is question that have been asked by fellow youtubers that use their phones to upload videos and they are like how did you keep videos of many years ago and you are still able to upload it now like some of you may be aware i do series here that is called story time slash memory lane and it has to do with videos of six seven years ago or even eight years ago that i still have before we go into doing this tutorial today what you can use to store your videos and how to create files on this device so that you can be able to work faster with your social media platform let us talk about why it is good for you to have this your raw video on a separate device first of all we don't only make videos for social media we do have family time moments we have all these pictures most of us we say we store it on Google or on Facebook or wherever but what about if it gets hacked what about if you lost your phone there's so many reasons countless reasons why you should have a separate device personal one apart from google storage or youtube or your social media platform what if you lost your password to your google account how can you access your photos there or your videos there what if they tell you that you don't have space there anymore you have to buy space you know gigabyte or megabyte there or you need to clear some of your videos it has happened to me you understand the theme of all this play store they do change again and again what are you going to do so you see this video is for you so now let me show you some things that you can use to store your videos or your pictures so you can look back to it like me I gave you an example when my little girl was small and all that. I used to play it now for her sometimes. We have we bond together. I played those videos when I was changing her pampas, when she was crying, and when she was running around, her first move. I have all these videos. I even have some of my friends own. If I want to surprise them, I send them. They're like, oh, thank you. You still have this. Yes, we all should have that. In the future, when your child is going to puberty and all that they start to think that they know best you can go back and play this for them and they can really see the love that you have put in to nurture them to bring them up it's very important that you have it not just leave it you know somewhere in social medias yeah so if you like what i am saying please share this video somebody is even someone that is not even a youtuber or doesn't post things on social media needs this type of videos please guys make sure you share this video okay so that being said what are some of the things that you will be using to store your videos in this video i will be showing you where you can get this thing to buy and how much it costs in different websites and the cheapest websites so get it here yeah? and at the same time i will show you as i mentioned before how you can create files and put your things in order there so that you can work faster with your pictures and you can even write dates and titles on your files you put them in files yeah let me now show you the things you will be using to store your videos out of your phone so that your phone will have free space first of all i will say get a usb stick 
you can get different colors like this and you have different megabytes or gigabytes yeah as you can see here they are very cheap this side goes to the computer and then this side goes to your phone when you are going to buy it please make sure you go with your phone to see whether it will fit with your phone okay like this one now it fits properly okay and then i will now plug it here on my laptop you see when i own my laptop then i cannot download what is here to it that i will show you how to do so let me show you also why i said it is not all phones that takes it you know every phone charging port is different yeah like this one now it works perfectly like this it will definitely not work because it's different you see it's not going make sure you go with your phone so that you can get the one that fits with your charging ports like mine now yeah okay so that being said but that is not the thing or the best thing i would recommend hsb have disadvantages as well sometimes you will not be able to see all your videos that you have in your usb stick sometimes they will be skipping somehow but it's very good for pictures but i don't think it's the best thing to store videos on except you are just going to put some few videos or you have very big memory in your usb stick but one good thing is that you can buy it in many stores around yeah that is one good thing so in case if you're having problem with your videos or something like that just go to any electronic store talk to them or where they sell things like i don't know there's something we call media mats here you just go and you can get one and it's very cheap okay so that is for usb stick i think this video is going to be longer i'm going to make part two of this video yeah and then this is the hard disk you have different type i have like four of this type you know you have different type of it now this was this bigger one you know it's very large you have to have a bag when you are taking this along but then you have this portable one you see like as you can see in the slides here like this you see that and you have even up to even 30 terabytes now this is which website let me click this 16 terabyte here yeah? can you see this is 16 terabyte they even have up to 30 terabyte now even two terabyte you can keep like mine now i have like um like mine now i have like five terabyte can you see it i have been using it for a very long time and it has enough space you can check it in amazon and you can check it in aliexpress the best place to get them cheaper is where is this witch or aliexpress check how much this one is cost here did you see six euro 94 cents and then if you add it to shards for instance you see eight terabytes see how much it costs but go to amazon is very expensive this particular one is what is the same thing with this big one but it is not portable you see that is why they write it here in the website portable ssd you see it portable they call it so this one you can just keep it in your wallet or keep it wherever and you can you know work as you can see guys this video have taken a long time but i think it's worth knowing because many of us don't know how to use this hard disk yet yeah it's good i explain so next time i'm going to show you how to create files on your hard disk and how you transfer it back on your phone this video is going to end here next time you how to download your videos to your hard disk or to your usb stick is the same method and at the same time show you how you can create files on it so that you can just be picking them from as files and working easy like a profi yeah stress-free no wasting time to be looking where is this for is this one belong to this or all that yeah we all have done that and we have to like start to work like profi that being said my people see you in our next video bye